Hey everyone, Jake here from Made for the Range, and today I have the pleasure of getting myself a small little fit here at the Cobra Puma headquarters in Carlsbad with Andrew. We just did a full breakdown with Andrew on the Golf Tech YouTube channel, so make sure you go and check that out for all the information on the lineup itself. But in this one, we wanted to experiment with the LS head specifically a little bit because we saw some really, really good numbers off of it. And honestly, I just got so intrigued that I wanted to have Andrew get myself dialed in before I left the building, essentially. So walk us through the LS and the differences primarily because there's one big difference between this and the Aerojet from last year. Correct, yeah. So the LS, it's always going to have you know low spin. It's always going to have weight forward, low CG. One thing about it this year is one weight at the back. So again, we were talking off camera. <clears throat> You've always preferred the shape of the LS head, but sometimes yeah. get too low spin. When we pull that weight back, it's gonna increase the CG, get the spin up a little higher. Some you know, almost shots maybe when you catch it high in the face, catch it a little toe side, Absolutely. you don't get those those divers. So now we have you know your gamer shaft. Yep. You told me off camera you're probably about a 10.5. So we'll start you on the neutral setting and we'll really dive into the weights in the loft and get you in a really good spot. Awesome. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna let Andrew do the tinkering. We'll hit three or four shots with each one, and then we'll join you back at the end and we'll show you guys all the data. Okay, Jake, now that we have the uh, Dark Speed LS 10.5, we have the weights in the neutral setting and our MyFly sleeve in the neutral setting. Let's start there, get some numbers, and we'll kind of tinker from there. Beautiful, let's do it. I just love how fast it feels. See a ball. So that one, Andrew, was really cool because I thought, I thought I lost that one, honestly. I thought I was going to look up and see that one. Yeah, so that one was, you know, pretty far out there on the toe. Yeah. Kind of held this line. You know, if you look at the, you know, the grouping out there, all three shots are really in a really similar spot. And spin rates were super consistent too. You were yeah. 2,700, 27 and change, and 27 and change. So really, really good to see there. And it just, it just feels fast. Like I'm, I'm normally like a 108, 109 ish kind of guy usually, um, but it it just feels fast. So from here, what do we think in adjustment wise? Yeah, if we're looking at the numbers, you know, launch 13, that's in a really good spot. Like I said, spin rate really, really consistent. You know, 2650, 27, 2690, just a little high. You know, when I always talk about you know driver fittings, I always look at descent angle. You're at 42 degrees there, so when we're talking about you know two averages, 38, 39 degrees. That's kind of a good window, a good balance of carry and total. So let's use the my uh, my five sleeve here, adjust the loft slightly, and kind of see where that puts us. Okay, Jake's there. So first couple shots there, really, really good. All we're trying to do now is just lower your spin to get you in a little better launch and spin window. So all I've done is taken the 10.5 head using our my uh, fly adapter and put you in the minus one setting. So now we're at 9.5. I've left the weights kind of neutral. You know, your grouping out there was pretty tight. So let's give this a go here. All right. Hit the center line. Done. Sold. That's it. That's just me losing it. All right, Andrew, so I had one that I had nutted on the first one, which was probably our perfect of perfect. But then those last two there, we again, we have balls on top of each other, basically. The one thing I was going to note, though, um, now that we've gone a little lower in loft, the one thing we did introduce on two little shots there, the spin actually got a little bit too low, yeah. and your dispersion kind of went this way. So I'm thinking now, we'll keep you in this loft, we'll pull that weight back. That might be the best of both worlds. We'll keep your spin down, pull that weight back and kind of give you a little more forgiveness and hopefully get you in that real perfect spot. Okay, and you're gonna stick with the 10.5 head down instead of going down to the nine head. I think so, let's start there. Okay, perfect. Okay, Jake, so now we have you um, in the 10.5 LS. Uh, same loft setting as the previous one, the minus one, so 9.5. Only difference here is I've pulled that 12 gram weight back, the pull that CG back, give you a little more forgiveness. So hopefully you can find the right launch and spin window from the, the sleeve. You just give you a little more forgiveness in the head without weight at the back. All right, let's do it. So I will say, 
this setting with the weight back, I mean, I just hit one, I think, relatively middle, very low, very high. Yeah. And it gave me a lot of consistency as far as path went. To me, it, it does feel like the head's dipping a little bit at impact. Like that head's just leaning back just ever so slightly. Right. And I'm not completely sure of where it was, where the first two settings, it felt like it was able to get middle a little bit more than this okay. one. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll go back to the weight in the neutral setting. We'll grab the nine degree head and move it one forward in the 10 degree loft head. And we'll try okay. that out. Perfect. Okay, Jake, so now we've moved you into the nine degree head. Uh, using the sleeve, we've gone plus one, so now in 10 degrees. So again, where we start off that 10.5 head, it was a little bit too high. We moved you down in the 9.5 setting, messed with the weights, couldn't really find the right setting. So let's sure. give this one a shot here. All right. Yeah, 163 ball speed there. That's your highest today, actually. And that's a much more manageable spin than where we were at. Yeah, so there are your 11 launch, 25 spin. Again, I always go back to it, descent angle. You were 38 degrees there. So that's a really good window to be hitting a driver. Oh yeah. Again, now with that weight forward again, I'll leave the weight more forward. That's what it's gonna give you, right? It's gonna give you that more firm feel, a yeah. little more speed. I think you've done it, Andrew. I can find a winner. And everything for me personally, I didn't say this to you at the start because I didn't want to influence anything you were doing. I'm a, I'm a right to left guy. I like to play the left side of the golf course. Sometimes it gets me in trouble with that duck hook, but I'd rather see everything stay left. left. Yeah, just so that it's one side. So that to me with three balls that stayed on the left side of it with one relatively perfect one there at the end was really, really nice to see. Yeah, number-wise, like I said, we started off the 10-5. You know, grouping was good, a little bit to the right. Spin was a little high, so we're getting picky. We really want to dial you in. Then we messed around with lowering the loft, changing the weights. It wasn't quite, you didn't like the feel. Now we found you in that 10-degree lofted head with the weights in the neutral setting, that 12-gram in the heel. I think we've got a, got a winner. Yeah, absolutely. And this is, for everybody watching, this is a stock setup. This is not an aftermarket shaft. This is a shaft that you guys include, no upcharge. And all you did was mess with the components that we had available in the head. I don't even think we went to different weights. These are truly just the stock three weights yeah, exactly. that you moved to the right spot. So very, very cool here. Thank you for taking the time to walk me through this. I really appreciate it. Go check out that full golf tech video on their YouTube channel that we did with Andrew. We broke them down in the fitting environment as well as with TO from a technical perspective. So super cool here. Excited to uh, dive into the rest of them throughout this season. And uh, yeah, go get yourself a dark speed.